Hey, this is Jason. I just wanted to make a quick video on the dreaded plastic cover here that uh, covers the hole where the um, wires come in for the electric seats on a 1999 Discovery One. In the United States, the Discovery One was made until 99. It was a split year, but specifically this is for a 91. So if you were sitting in the uh, driver's side in a Discovery One in the United States, you're going to notice that this is considered the left hand and it's designated as LH assembly that you'll need. I'll put on the blog the parts and everything that you need. But effectively what happens is this plastic piece eventually doesn't stick in the seat. So it just kind of hangs out like that because a plastic tab at the bottom breaks that holds it. So what you have to do is, you have to basically pull it down. So if this was against the console, you'd pull it down. You'd expose the two plugs, unplug, unplug. Just be mindful that you remember how to plug them back in. It's pretty easy. It's literally just plugging them. There's going to be a screw on this side, a screw in the middle, and a screw on this side. Unscrew them. That will give you three screws here. Don't lose them. And then you have to pop these little buttons off. And all you do is just very gently put a flathead screwdriver underneath and pop it up and it will come off pretty easily. So let me pause this real quick to get the buttons off. So now you can see I have both of the buttons off. The top one came off very easily. The bottom one very gently pried up because it's basically sitting on this middle piece. And these are the actual buttons that will stay in the assembly, these little posts. So at this point, I can remove this faceplate, put the new one back on, and screw everything back together. So let me pause and take this plate off. So now you can see that I have the actual old plate off, and I'm working with strictly the main unit here that plugs into the seat. So this is the new unit I purchased. These parts are very hard to get. I was looking for a long time to find it, but I found one for both seats. I want to explain what happens here. So the reason why this unit always, when it's hooked up against the uh, console, hangs off, because you can see it has plastic tabs at the top, but the tabs at the bottom always break. Every Discovery one I look at, this happens. So you can see the replacement unit has tabs at the top and the bottom, so when it's assembled, it will pop back into the seat okay. So I'm gonna put this back on, screw everything up, and then I'll go to the car and show what I have. Okay, so I had the new panel hooked up. The key thing is when you put these buttons back on, make sure you snap them down. They should not lift off. And give them a test and make sure it actually functions the way it should be. So I put the side screws back in, the screw in the back, and this screw. I'm going to go to the car and pop it in and finish up showing how this works. Okay, I'm back at the car, but it's dark um, and actually snowing now. But basically, before this would sit in here and instead of going in flush it would just kind of hang out because the tabs are broken so what you want to do is pop these two back in it's pretty easy and they can only go in one way and then with the new plastic tabs it would stay mounted in there let me hook this back up and then i'll unpause it okay so i have it popped back in and you can see that it mounts flush and it no longer hangs out a pretty easy fix but this was frustrating me for about two years on this Discovery One. So I'm really happy that, um, that I found the replacement part and it was fairly easy to hook up. I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped. And be sure to read the blog for details on where to buy the part and all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.